Hey guys, I welcome you to this video. My name is Arijit and in this video, I'm going to talk more about what profit margin or price margin should you choose in order to promote your products. Let's say uh, the basic concept is that you have to think of what products you are willing to promote. If you are trying to promote a low ticket product, let's say a $10 product, uh, you won't be able to have huge profit margin in that game. So you have to pay, let's say $3 from that $10 for AliExpress cost then five dollars to Facebook so you were uh, spending around eight dollars in total and you were left with like two dollars in profit and you cannot just have a huge profit margin in in, in like let's say in terms of two dollars because you cannot just invest that to find new winning audience at least you have to spend five dollars in order to find a winning product right so in order to get started with finding a winning product I will rephrase that so that is why you need to have huge profit margins because that will help you to reinvest all the money that you take from your advertising uh, from your products and invest that back to your business so you won't be able to uh, leave a lot of money on the table and by doing so like if you are trying to promote a low ticket product you are basically leaving a lot of money on the table and um, that is that is the worst thing guys so without wasting any more time i would like to dive right into explaining why this is important and um, let's uh, dive right into uh, my computer so as you can see this is the AliExpress website so I'll just move uh, the pop-up option from here so this is the AliExpress website right most of you people are acquainted with this website I don't need any description to be uh, giving you about this website and uh, let's say you are searching for a product you want to promote a product and you don't know what product to promote so you're looking at the at the home page uh, options like whatever it's suggesting right now you're looking at those you're just looking at the price margin people usually uh, usually don't look at the price margin at the initial stage they just look at the products whether they are uh, that product is a good product or not they just look at something of that sort they don't rely on the price margin and um, like let's let's explain more with the uh, live view right now so let's say I uh, like this product let's say this is a necklace I like this product I want to test it out on my store so this product costs around one dollars and thirty cents so if I start to promote this product at thirty dollars people won't be buying from me right because this is a simple necklace people know or uh, most of the um, users or customers know that this is a simple necklace it doesn't have a huge perceived value in that it's nothing like it has a diamond in it, it it's nothing like it's made from a huge uh, artificial like uh, it was built like 10 billion years ago material uh, it, it doesn't use something like that right so people won't be able to give you 29.99 dollars just to buy this necklace if you are selling this for let's say 10 dollars you would get huge amount of sale for this just because the product price is quite cheap just because the product is quite uh, good good looking and you are uh, targeting those people who are in the who are passionate about love niche and all right so thinking about that coming from that mindset you have to think of what is your product margin you want to set so if you want to set this product at $500 let's say like this product it's cost around $550 right you won't be able to sell this for $10 that is quite obvious you would get huge amount of uh, orders if you just start selling a $500 product for $10 right so you won't be selling that that's stupid instead let's say you are selling this bracelet for $500 people won't be interested in buying that instead if you start selling at $10 you are going to pay uh, let's round it off to $2 for AliExpress um, vendors account including shipping and all let's say the price cost for AliExpress is $2 so you are spending from $10 you're spending $2 on AliExpress you are having $8 in hand you can then invest that $8 back into your business and find winning audiences for this particular product or even test out different products for that matter but if you are doing like eight dollars in profit margin you have to make at least hundred sales in order to reach eight hundred dollars in profit so that is quite tough guys that is truly quite tough to make first with with your first instance with your dropshipping business you cannot just make a eight hundred dollar profit margin so that is why I would suggest you I suggest all of my students as well I'm suggesting all of you guys as well just follow whatever I'm teaching right now just follow whatever price margin I'm telling you to promote your products to don't just go for low ticket products 
because you would have to sell a lot of items in order to make back that money you have invested in your ads or even you you have to make huge amount of money in order to invest the money uh, to find newer audiences or newer products for that matter so start to find products that has high percent value like this bag this bag costs around 15 dollars so you will easily you can easily sell this product for 45 49.99 46.99 59.99 anything you want because this is a bag this is i guess it's a leather bag you can target people uh, those people who are into the fashion niche but this bag has a high perceived value rather than just a necklace so don't go for smaller ticket products just go for higher ticket products because that way you can um, have a bit of money in order to play with in order to find different audiences i hope that makes sense right now most of you guys are uh, question uh, are asking me basically all all these questions like what product to choose how to choose and everything i'm doing a lot of videos currently right now on youtube i'm going to be focusing more on youtube uh, recently so in the upcoming days you are going to get a huge the value from all these videos i do hope that you get value i do hope that you take action from all these videos and i'm going to catch up with you in the next video but before i end this video please do subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified as and when i upload new videos i'm trying to provide value to each and every one in this in this audience in this group so just just focus on whatever i'm teaching just play with those uh, strategies that i'm teaching right now and you would find success along the way I do hope that you take action. So I'll catch up with you in the next video.